guys and welcome back to a new video a little experiment over the last couple of weeks I've been catching a lot of queens especially Tetramar and Kaispedam I've caught six of them and uh, here is one queen on screen right now um, so we're gonna do a little experiment um, this is the queen that I'm gonna have separate because if the experiment goes wrong, I at least have one queen of Tetramorium Kaispedum left. The rest of the queens I caught, we're gonna put them in a test tube setup together, all five of them. And we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully they get along. Let's take a look at them. And here they are. Here are the queens. As you can see, they all have their rings. That's because... I caught them uh, in the pool, so they didn't have time to shut their rings. So the queens, uh, they are all Tetramorum Kaispedum. And um, as you maybe know, Tetramorum Kaispedum is not known for being polygynous. But these queens are probably all from the same nest because I only have one nest of Tetramorium around my house so let's get a better look at them they're actually pretty cool these queens they are fully claustral so they don't need to be fed during the founding stage of the colony the queens are all about 6 to 8 millimeters in length. They're pretty small, smaller than Laetius Niger. And the workers are even smaller than the ticks. have a length of 1 to 2 millimeters in length. That's really small for an ant in Belgium at least. You have some smaller Solenopsis, but that's really all there is. Let's check up on them in a couple of days. And what I saw, I couldn't believe it. A whole lot of eggs. Really. Maybe 50 or more eggs even. That's a lot. That's really a lot. And they are all together. So the queens are getting along very well. Look at those eggs. I, I think maybe some eggs are on the verge of becoming uh, a larva so they're growing really fast I also put them um, on in a on a heating mat with uh, a towel underneath it so it doesn't get too warm so they develop a bit quicker yeah all those eggs will become workers but there's still a possibility that they only leave one queen alive. There is a scientific term for that, but I don't know it. But um, if, the, if uh, the workers arrive, the queens maybe get killed and the strongest queen gets left alive. But I hope the workers don't kill the queens and that I have a uh, five queen colony. And as you can see here, one queen has shadow rings already. And you can see those little yellowy, yellowish clusters of eggs on the upper side of your screen. So yeah, I hope this experiment turns out good. And uh, now let's take a look at my new rare queen ant. And here she is. I found her just running around in my backyard. I let her be identified in the Discord server. That link is down in the description. And it turns out she is a Formica Cunicularia. She already has some eggs and I'll keep you updated on her as soon as she gets work workers or pupae. 
So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe if you liked what you saw here today. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.